Hi, I'm Ben Bogey. I'm a custom home builder and remodeler. Today I'm on set with Atlas Roofing Corporation and we're going to show you how to install Energy Shield Polyiso Continuous Exterior Insulation on your residential projects. When installing Continuous Exterior Polyiso Insulation, you have a number of choices of how to deal with your window and door openings. You can install your flanges right back at the sheathing line. You can buck out like we did here to the thickness of the insulation, or if using a rain screen, you can buck yourself out to that line. The choice is up to you on how you want your trim and your architectural look. There are a number of fasteners that you can use to attach the polyiso insulation to your project. You can use a galvanized roofing nail, a 60 ring shank nail with a plastic washer, or in the case today, we're going to be using a Roden House plastic fastener with accompanying wood screw. Make sure that your fasteners in the field are 16 inches apart and over solid framing, and 12 inches apart on our perimeter. When installing continuous polyiso insulation, we make sure that we stagger our corners as we work our way up the building. For our first floor, we're lapped this way. For our next course up, we would reverse the lap. Thanks for joining us today for our video of installing continuous exterior energy shield polyiso insulation. Check out atlasrwi.com or our other videos for further details.